All right, hope everybody's been doing well. And uh, finally got a chance to do another video. It was a rough couple of weeks there. I, uh, I kind of gave blood for the first time last week and was kind of wiped out for a couple days after that. So just kind of took it easy. And uh, before that, the week before, there was a big storm and about six in the morning, my, my power went out as well as my neighbor. It's a twin house, uh, two electric lines going in. But anyway, it turns out we were the only ones without power. And uh, to make a long story short, uh, it was 36 hours before Pico came out to fix it. And it turns out it was something super simple. After about 32 hours, I gave up and contacted my city councilman and he had somebody out here within uh, three hours. Took the guy 15 minutes to fix it. And uh, what was even more frustrating is the house was up to about 82 or more. And I was afraid to leave because I knew something was really weird because I had some power, like some lights would work, but nothing big like the air conditioner or the fridge. Uh, certain outlets had nothing. Anyway, so uh, I lost some fish. Uh, what really ticks me off is I lost the three wild axolotls. Uh, too hot for them. And just been uh, fixing things ever since with getting caught up on water changes. But what I'm showing here is uh, this female was a uh, red lay snakeskin female that I crossed. Uh, in with uh, my yellow delta line. It's a male yellow delta to her. And I showed a previous video where I got some fry out of them, or her, that uh, were two different colors. Some were like a blonde and some were like a gray. So I took one of the males that grew out, which of course ends up being a, I think a yellow cobra. I don't think the snakeskin pattern is complete, but it's pretty good. And focus on them. See if we'll stay still. Anyhow. Alright, he's not staying still. And move on to uh, something else, maybe. There we go. We might get him here. We can kind of see it. It's a pretty good pattern, but I don't think it's a complete snakeskin pattern. I think it's a cobra. Yeah, I'll come back to him. Anyway, this is the group of females and males that had uh, grown out. You can still see that some are uh, blonde or yellow and some are a gray. And what's happening, I think, is the gray-bodied ones are kind of a red snakeskin and the yellow-bodied ones are going to be a yellow snakeskin. So, it may be a mix, it may be yellow and red on some. Uh, there aren't any albinos, they're just very, very blonde. And uh, it's pretty cool. So it's very unusual for me to get two distinct body colors out of one cross. So, I'll figure out what I'm going to do next. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is I'm going to uh, run a food sale. Uh, two jars of any of the types of food I sell for 27, which includes shipping. There's the Ultimate Veggie Flakes, Ultimate Meat Flakes. My high protein is kind of like a crumble, and then a, a finer version for fry or eh, shrimp or any you know, small fish. I actually mostly feed the uh, this one to my fish, pretty much all of them. And I developed the uh, Ultimate Veggie Flake, which is five types of vegetable flake. And I believe it's 43% protein, 14% fat. And this is six types of meat flakes. And uh, it's about 44% protein, and I believe also around 12% fat. I have to check it. Anyway, that'll run for a week or two. So this is what I'm getting out of those. Interesting. Uh, I just don't like seeing more than one 
color on the yellow ones. And also the tails have to uh, grow in better. They're, uh, uh, they're kind of, uh, I would just say crappy at this point. Now this one has a full shaped tail, but not all the color yet. So that may change. But you can see they have a nice pattern. And it's just something I'm messing with. I really just want to come up with uh, yellow cobras because I don't know if I can come up with yellow snake skins. I really don't think I've ever seen them. And uh, anyway, that's pretty cool. And something else that's uh, going on, if I can get these guys on. These are like a grade B of the Tiger King Cobras. I have about 10 trios and uh, you can see the females are just getting their splotches. They have a real long dorsal and anal fin and uh, it's kind of cool. The males just have like a uneven tail edge. It's kind of choppy, I guess. Let me get a close up of it. But they have nice color, nice splotches, nice everything. So because of that, I'm just gonna sell them for 60, a trio, if anybody wants them. And just email me. Obviously the first 10 people that email me, uh, will get them. I can only ship to the United States and probably can get away with shipping priority because I have really good sealed styros and the uh, fish will be fine. So if you're interested, you let me know. I would pick out the best looking males with the least uh, choppy tail and go from there. So I was going to put them on Aquabid, but I, I just haven't been putting fish on there lately, so I figured I'll just see if I sell them out from uh, from the video. If not, then I'll put them on Aquabid, probably for 70 a trio. But these are nice. Uh, like I said, it'd be a, like a to me it'd be a, like a grade B, not quite as nice as the uh, the other ones I have, which are really nice. I'll probably show them in the next video. Anyhow, see if I can get this mail back on here. Probably not. I think we might get them. And before I forget, what do you call a herd of sheep falling downhill? A lamb slide. A lamb slide. Yeah, I know that's awful. Alright, there's a, about as good a view as I can get of this guy. Interesting, once again, when I do crosses with the uh, yellow deltas, I end up with this uh, nothing splotch in the caudal and where the tail starts. It's just really gray. And that happened with the black lace snake skins or cobras I came up with. And it's a little weird. It's got to be something on the... Uh, yellow delta side and we'll see what happens all right thank you for watching and for hanging in there i'll have another video up pretty soon won't take as long now that everything's fixed and working the way it should including me all right take care